If you're a bit of an audiophile and you enjoy listening to a solid tune on your phone, then it can be a real pain when the EQ is all out of whack depending on the earphones that you're listening through. Well, Wavelet is an app that gives you precise equalization control over any and every set of headphones that you might own. And what's even cooler is that it remembers the settings that you've set up for each set of headphones and it will load the right settings whenever you plug them in. And with that, we are back with another episode of the top Android apps. You ready? Let's go. iOS widgets, as the name implies, brings over those fancy new widgets that were just released along with the iOS 14 update. Now, as is to be expected, you do also need the KWGT Pro application to be able to set these widgets up. But once you do, you get access to 29 widgets that are directly inspired by the widgets seen on iOS 14. The developer has told me that he's still working to iron out some bugs and that the widgets perform best when using the Google Calendar application, so keep those things in mind. But he's also been kind enough to offer me 40 free promo codes for this application, which I'll be releasing over on my Instagram stories. So make sure that you follow me over there to have a chance at claiming one of those codes. Now, if you're into Android customization, then Vectorify is an app that you might just have a lot of fun experimenting with. This app is a vector-based wallpaper application, but it takes things to another level altogether by essentially allowing you to really dial in and customize what the wallpapers look like. You have a huge collection of base icons to choose from that will give your wallpaper character, but then you can change the background and accent colors to anything that you'd like or choose from a range of presets as well. And the end results will leave you with some really clean and unique looking home screen setups. AccuWeather is a weather application that has been around for a long time now, but its recent design overhaul has finally brought it into the 21st century and deemed it worthy of a feature in today's episode. Now you may need to sign up to the beta program and update the application to see the new design changes. But once you do, you'll see the design of the app change from this to this. And boy, does it make the app look a thousand times better. You've obviously still got access to your live weather forecast with detailed minute by minute breakdowns for the next two hours of weather. The severe weather warning alerts are still in play here. And there are a heap of other cool features that really do make this one of the most information dense weather applications that you can get right now. From weather to note taking and one jotter is a beautifully designed app that makes taking notes a visually pleasing experience. Not only is this app nice to look at, but it's also feature rich as well. It includes a handy extended keyboard feature that allows you to take control over the design of the notes that you're writing. There are a range of themes that you can choose from if you upgrade to the pro version. And there's even support for online syncing, which is great for those of us who enjoy using our note taking applications on multiple devices. Oh, do you know who else has a really cool app? Well, it's of course our friends over at Skillshare who are also today's video sponsor. If you haven't heard of Skillshare by now, then you seriously need to get on it. It is an incredible platform that has tens of thousands of classes across a wide range of categories, including graphic design, video editing, and cinematography, just to name a few. And what's awesome is that you just pay a monthly price and that gets you access to any class that you might like. Now, over the past little while, I've been really intentional in trying to get back into posting regularly over on my Instagram page. And so I've been following a class by Tyler McCall that focuses on building an engaged community on Instagram. And I'm still working working my way through the course, but I've already got a number of tips and insights that I'm really excited to put into action going forward. Skillshare Premium starts at less than $10 a month, but because they're sponsoring today's episode, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 people who use my link down in the description, two months of Skillshare for free. So definitely make sure that you check it out and get learning. Now, even though Windows devices are very much a thing of the past, if you're looking to emulate the home screen experience that was found on said devices, then look no further than Square Home. This app does a really neat job of emulating the Windows smartphone home experience. You've got the classic live tiles on show throughout with neat animations in and out of the various menus. And on top of that, there are a bunch of customization options that will allow you to really make the experience your own. Now you get to try every single feature for free in the first 14 days, but if you wanna continue using the premium version after the trial has expired, then the developer has been kind enough to give me some more promo codes that I'll be releasing over on my Twitter page this time in the next week or two. So definitely keep an eye out over there. Make sure you're following me if you wanna have a chance at claiming one of those codes. But if you're looking to change up the look of your notification panel, then My Control Center is an app that you might just wanna try out. 
But as the name indicates, this is an app that emulates the control center found on my UI devices. And what's cool is that it lets you separate your quick settings from your notification shade, depending on which side you swipe on your phone. Aside from that neat functionality, the app performs beautifully. It's super smooth. The animations are on point. And beyond that, there are stacks of customization options that you can play around with in the app settings. And it's just a downright great lot of fun. Panels is yet another personalization app on today's list, but it is one that has the potential to really increase the efficiency of how you use your phone. Once set up, you simply swipe in from the side and out pops a little sidebar that has a column of applications that you can quickly launch into. But you're not just limited to five applications. You can increase the size of the bar so that it fits 20 applications in total. And you can also add other triggers like shortcuts to system settings or URLs. And again, there are also a heap of settings that you can tweak and customize to your liking. Taskedo is a fairly fresh to-do list application that places an emphasis on keeping your daily tasks small and achievable. So it does this by showing all of your items on a timeline rather than in a traditional list format. And this helps you to stay on top of which tasks need to be completed on a day per day basis, rather than just seeing an overwhelming list of tasks all clumped together. There's also a handy home screen widget, which is nicely designed. And finally, Ultra Volume is an app that lets you change the look of the default volume slider on your phone. Now, I featured a similar app a little while ago, but this one is just as seamless with lots of flexibility to really dial in the look and feel of the panel as well. And the amount of skins available to choose from is really impressive. You can also change the position of the volume slider altogether. And what's really neat is that you can even set up a swipe gesture to bring out the panel, which I think has a very nice feel to it. But that's it. If you enjoyed the video and you appreciate this style of content, then a sub would be amazing. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell and switch the setting to all because that is literally the only way that you are guaranteed to be notified whenever I release a new video. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoy the video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you Skillshare for the support and I'll catch you later.